Does Anthony Phillips still keep in contact with his ex-Genesis band members? We'll find out. Fan questions, the last segment coming up on Rocky Street Music. As we talked about in one of the clips of this whole series is Genesis has kept it very classy. There's no backstabbing in Genesis. As much as I love Yes, there's been a lot of drama in that band. That has not happened with Genesis. Our last fan question. Okay, one more. TS, uh, do you keep in contact with the other members of Genesis? A little bit. It's kind of piggledy piggledy, really. Um, we have mutual friends. Um, I'm godfather of Mike Rutherford's daughter, so that used to afford meetings, but obviously, and, uh, and you know, christening, marriage, and all the rest of the wedding. But no, she's a grown up girl now. So I don't see her. I see probably Tony more than anybody else because we have a mutual friend, David Thomas, who um, he was the guy that had the basement flat in Earl's Court when we recorded from Genesis to Revelation in the summer of 68. And so we had 17 people sleeping in a two bedroom flat during the <laughs> session, the drummer in the bar. That's a true story. And, uh, <laughs> So, yeah, it really is true, actually. Put that and, drummer in the bath. Yeah, no, it was a great summer. I mean, I really have fantastic and enjoyable memories of Genesis Revelation. It was just like a schoolboy dream, you know. You spend the holiday practicing in sort of parents' country houses, and then you swan off to London and live the life of Riley recording music. It was cool. Very cool. Alap Hoyos says, what was it like uh, having uh, Steve Hackett replace you? Well, he didn't directly. There was somebody else in between. I forget his name now, but Mick Bernard, I think. He was very good, too. He was very good. Steve didn't join till I left in August. Steve didn't join at anything until February. Mick was there in between. So it didn't happen straight away. Um, so I'd already got used to somebody else playing the parts. What was it like? Uh, yeah, a bit strange, obviously, seeing anybody else doing it, really. But they were both very good. So I didn't sort of, I, I didn't find myself watching thinking, oh, dear, 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 dear. These guys are so much better than me. And I didn't think the other either. I didn't think, uh, you know, I didn't think, oh. No, I mean, no, it, was, it was fine. It was fine. I mean, the, the, the guitar was, was, you know, there weren't a lot of solos, is the truth of it. So... Steve was actually going through and playing quite a lot of parts, which would have been similar to what I'd played before, actually, to start with, before they did all the new material. So um, wasn't that different, is the truth. I think later on it became more obvious what a great, particularly electric guitarist he was. Strings of Light is the new album from Anthony Phillips. First new album in seven years. It's a guitar album, of course. And on our sister station, we look track by track, most of the tracks. Anthony talks about them and we play clips from Strings of Light. If you want to check out that video, there'll be a link in the description of this video. I want to thank Anthony for hanging out with us. One of my favorite interviews and one of the nicest men, can you tell, that you'll ever meet in your entire life. He's one of those guys I would interview every week if I could, you know, just to pick his brain. Anyway, Anthony, thank you. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Mm -hmm.